corrections for corrections for basic runway length basic runway length there are three corrections here that is first one is elevation correction first one is elevation correction elevation correction basic runway length is it is based on mean sea level if the airport is above the mean sea level then correction is required for basic runway length so correction is here 7% for every 300 meters elevation above msl above mean sea level that is elevation correction then second correction is temperature correction temperature correction see for this correction we should understand two certain things here that is what is airport's uh, airport reference temperature airport reference temperature airport reference temperature that is tr tr equal to ta plus tm minus ta by 3 where ta equal to the ta equal to monthly mean of average daily temperature for the hottest month monthly mean of average daily temperature average daily temperature daily temperature of hottest month and tm is monthly mean of the monthly mean of the maximum daily temperature maximum daily temperature of hottest month so with this ta and tm we can find tr airport reference temperature that is ta plus tm plus ta by 3 then standard temperature airport standard temperature airport standard temperature it depends on elevation actually that is called ts actually ts equal to at msl it is 15 degrees and for elevation it direct uh, it reduces 15 minus 0 0.0 0065 0.0065 into h where h is in meters where h equal to elevation elevation of airport airport in meters elevation of airport in meters 
elevation of airport in meters that is 0.0065 h so that is ts now temperature correction equal to temperature correction equal to tr minus standard temperature preference temperature so tr minus ts percent tr minus ts percent is the temperature correction suppose tr is 20 degrees ts is 18 degrees then difference is tr is 2 degrees more than ts that's why correction is 2 percent so after applying elevation correction we should apply temperature correction so after these two corrections check is required check the combined correction the combined correction the combined correction that is elevation and temperature should not be more than should not be should not be more than 35 percent that is the check here first apply elevation correction then after whatever you get that uh, the corrected length then apply temperature correction for corrected length so that both the increased va increased value should not be more than 35 percent so then third correction is gradient correction gradient correction it is 20 percent correction is 20 percent for 20 percent for every for every 1 percent 1 percent of effective gradient 1 percent of effective gradient here effective gradient is defined as effective gradient gradient effective gradient is defined as effective gradient is maximum difference in elevation between maximum difference in elevation between highest and lowest points of runway highest and lowest points of of runway runway divided by the total length of runway divided by the total length of runway So this is the gradient correction. So uh, after get, after finding effective gradient, you can apply gradient correction 20% for every 1% of effective gradient. Suppose effective gradient is 0.5%, then gradient correction is 10%. So 
20% for every 1% of effective gradient. These are the three corrections to be applied for basic runway length.